Okay, so welcome everybody to this topic of the course methods of research. This time, our first topic is an introduction on research methodology. Research in common parlance refers to a search for knowledge. One can also define research as a scientific and systematic search for pertinent information on a specific topic. And in fact, it is an art or an art of scientific investigation. So notice here that we use the term science. It is a scientific and systematic search. It is an art of scientific investigation. But what is science? Basically, science is systematic enterprise that builds and organizes knowledge in the form of testable explanations and predictions about the universe. Mm, it may also refer to the body of knowledge, organized and systematic. But more than that, I want to say that science is more than just a body of knowledge. It is, to some extent, and it is, for me, the essence, I want to quote Carl Sagan, to him, science is a way of thinking much more than it is a body of knowledge. There's just no other way. It is, it is the way to go. Another one from Edwin Powell Hava. I, I'd like to paraphrase his quote about the meaning of science. To him, man, using his five senses, although actually we have more than five senses, man, using his senses, rather, explores the universe around him and calls that adventure science. So science is a way of thinking. It is also a kind of adventure. Some people consider research as a movement, a movement from something which is unknown to something which is known. It is a voyage for discovery. Don't you ever feel that you kind of possess the a vital instinct of curiosity or inquisitiveness in you, that when you are faced with something which is unknown, you kind of wonder out of your curiosity or inquisitiveness, which drives you or makes you seek primarily for the basic understanding of that which something bugs you. This curiosity or inquisitiveness is the mother of all knowledge, and the method which we use to obtain that knowledge can be termed as research. Research is also an academic activity. Academic means something related or associated to an academy or school, especially of higher learning, or based on formal study, especially in an institution of higher learning. That's add more rigorous meaning. According to Clifford Woody, research comprises of defining and redefining problems, formulating hypotheses or suggested solutions, collecting, organizing, and evaluating data, making deductions and reaching conclusions, and at last carefully testing those conclusions to determine whether they fit with the formulating hypothesis. Another Definition from Slicinger, Slicinger and Stephenson in, in Social Sciences. Research is the manipulation of things, concepts, or symbols for the purpose of generalizing to extend, correct, or verify knowledge, whether that knowledge aids in deconstruction of a theory or in the practice of, of an art. So these are the, the different meanings of research, but the core of its definition is it adds something new to the body of knowledge. So to formally define research, research is a careful, well-defined or redefined objective and systematic method of search for knowledge or formulation of a theory that is driven by inquisitiveness or curiosity for something which is unknown and useful on a particular aspect to make an original contribution to expand the existing knowledge base. I want to give emphasis on the original contribution, the original contribution to expand the existing knowledge base. It is the heart of why we do research. We, we want to uncover that which is unknown, and as a result, we discover something new. We add new knowledge. We fill the gap. That's the tenet or central idea of research, to add something 